shown here is this is just our, our demo environment. It's kind of self-contained, so I have to kind of double hop to it. So I'm inside of a Citrix desktop right now. So my actual FIDO2 key is, uh, my UB key is, is connected to this desktop, which I'm just showing that here. Uh, if you click on smart cards at HGX monitor, you can see the UB key. That's connecting through the custom uh, virtual channel that's there, uh, optimized virtual channels. You can see it pass through to the session. So the first thing I'm gonna show is coming in and bringing it all together, right? Logging into that unified experience. So if I go to liquid, uh, dot choice dev dot HQ. That's the liquid interface. It's set up with Azure AD. So it's going to forward me off to, to Azure AD. We have an enterprise app stood up there and I'll log, log in with, uh, with James Reese. Uh, dude's bad, badass, man. So you can see right away it pops up and it says, Hey, uh, you know, you got a FIDO T key. You can see it. Citrix systems, pop your key in, right? Something, you know, something you have. Hope I don't forget my pin. Um, it wants me to touch the key. You can't see it, but I'm, I'm moving these two fingers over to my left to touch the key on yes. the side. Yes, he's touching the Ever key. Ever so gracefully, uh, the key. Yeah. So you can see how it logs in successfully, single sign-on, which is great. And that's what we want. And you can see what we have here. You know, it's just demo environments. I'm like a thousand apps to go. It just, you know, stood up. But you can see, you know, obviously custom branding as an end user. You come in here, you can see that from an aggregation perspective, you can see we have the ABD apps. So we have the general oh, desktop, Ozsaw oh, there. Uh, as well as some local apps like Calculator, 7-Zip, Putty, et cetera. And then we have the, um, the CL Team 7 desktop, which is from Citrix. From a catalog perspective, this is what's really neat is there's a whole self-service platform that's a part of this. So basically, you know, being able to come in and any single app can be a self-service in a portal. So in this case, I can do a request for, for AVD PowerPoint. I could come in on the back end uh, of the portal here and actually go to catalogs uh, and go pending approvals or sorry, approvals, and you'll see there's now James Reese came in for a pending approval for AVD PowerPoint. I can go ahead and just approve that user real quick. And then we can uh, go back to my catalog and you'll see here on the workspace, AVD PowerPoint's position. So the whole self-service functionality that we always ask for is, is already built in with a whole uh, you know, workflow ar around that. So from a, from, a, from a launching perspective, you can see me launch the, the Citrix desktop here. So today, this is in, in private mode, so it's just prompting me or whatever, but um, so, but, but today, essentially, that was all single sign-on through SAML, and it's going to go ahead and launch the CL Team 7 desktop. Uh, so today, it requires, a, you know, storefront integration to do that aggregation with DAS. They're already working uh, with the APIs and everything on the, on the workspace side. It's actually a feature waiting for from a Citrix perspective. Um, but it's just, uh, but now this gives me that kind of native integration. You can see I logged directly in with federated authentication services single sign-on into the same desktop that Oz was in as, as James Reach, which is pretty awesome. So we'll just minimize that. You can see the demo center web piece pops up and we're shaking and baking, right? So popping back over here on the AVD side, you can see me launch up. I, don't, I didn't put the native client on here. Um, so it's just launching just because again, it's just to show that I'm aggregating and launching these sessions, but you can see I can launch AVD uh, from the same piece here and we'll get that tech preview enabled so we can single sign-on and don't have to add our credentials again. You can see me logging into Azure Virtual Desktop over here, uh, which is kicking up. Um, you can see, you know, WEM basically getting going over there. Um, that's all ready to go. Uh, and then basically just to show you the back end for a second. So again, these are all aggregated as a single point. Each of these on, uh, icons could have specific context properties associated with them. We go ahead and look at the back end uh, on, on the management side. Uh, click. Oh, hold on a second. Got a little bit of a lag going on here. Here we go. Uh, it's my Wi-Fi. All right. Um, so you can see here on the management side, this is kind of what it looks like. There's a whole slew of properties that we can't touch on today. This hopefully pique your interest and we'll get additional conversations going, but there's this concept of connectors, basically. So you basically go in from an automation perspective to these connectors. Um, and on the connector side of things, you basically come in and you can see we have uh, these new connectors. So we have a, a storefront connector, an AVD connector. It brings these things as packages. So they automatically connect, aggregate, bring them in. We can have, uh, you know, uh, preface those packages with different things like this, so I know what they are. And then in those packages themselves, you can actually create a whole slew of context properties, um, you know, that you're able to do. And, and you know, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to dive into that uh, like I wanted to there. But um, just know that we have the ability to do additional contextual awareness, um, you know, by editing that, that specific application. We can basically, you know, say, you know, if they're in a certain location, you know, go ahead, you can create these uh, a ton of actions, right? You know, this is where the UEM piece comes in, right? If you want to launch an app, for instance, you can say, go ahead and set up a map drive, set up the printer and do all those things prior to launching the app. So that's all baked in. And again, the main thing here to kind of wrap up is it's all brought in under 
under a single uh, user interface. Um, and on the branding side, uh, what I just showed here, um, it's just super slow, my connection, but you could just see, you can come in here. This last thing here is basically on personalization. This entire piece can be 100% uh, customized as that, as that end user. Um, so that's kind of the main thing I wanted to show. Uh, again, bringing it all together, I wish I had a little bit more time, but